Hi, I'm Ross Benjamin of Sportsbook Review and RBWins.com. It's Saturday, June 4th. Time for another edition of my MLB Underdog Picks of the Day. Before we get to those two picks I have for Saturday, let's review a bit. Thursday, my MLB Underdog Picks of the Day video and article. If you viewed or read either or, you went 3-0. and Congratulations and folks. Right now, I'm on a 22 and 13 run with my Major League Baseball underdog picks of the day, at right here at Sportsbook Review. That's 63%. Let's keep it rolling. Let's get to our two selections for today, starting with the AL Central Division matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the Cleveland Indians. Start time 7:15 p.m. Eastern time from Progressive Field in Cleveland couple of veteran right-handers on the mound tonight. Ian Kennedy goes for the Kansas City Royals, while Josh Tomlin takes the hill for the Cleveland Indians. Well, Kansas City is off a 6-1 to loss last night at Cleveland, and that marked their second loss in a row. However, folks, this is a Kansas City team that's gone 6-1 and in their last seven games following a loss. And dating back to last season, this is, a t- excuse me, to the 2014 season. Uh, they've gone 45 and 24 in games following back-to-back losses. So that's an excellent win percentage, and that shows the resiliency and character of this Kansas City club and certainly bodes well for underdog value. Now, speaking of Ian Kennedy for the Royals, his last three starts, the Royals have gone 3-0 and in those games, and a lot has to do with Kennedy's stellar 240 ERA during those outings. In addition, he's made six road starts this year and posted a very good 1.18 whip during those outings. He's made also made one start versus Cleveland that came on May the 7th, and he was excellent in that performance. Seven innings, zero earned runs, four hits, two walks during the 7 to nothing Kansas City win. Josh Tomlin has made seven starts versus Kansas City since 2012, and the right-hander has a lofty 6.18 ERA in those outings. So obviously, despite his good numbers this year and the fact that the Indians are 8-1 and one when Tomlin takes the mound, he struggled against his Kansas City lineup. Cleveland has also gone 2-11 and 11 at home since 2015 when they face a starting pitcher with an ERA of 320 or less. And Ian Kennedy certainly qualifies in this situation as he's gone 7-3 and three and his team starts this year with a 303 ERA. I'm going to take the Kansas City Royals in this spot, plus 116 over the Cleveland Indians. You can find that line currently at matchbook.com. The next game we're going to touch upon, an AL West matchup between the Seattle Mariners and the Texas Rangers from the ballpark in Arlington, Texas. And this is an unusual 9.05 p.m. Eastern time start in Texas. So keep note of that. Now, the Rangers, from a foundational standpoint, excuse me, really have a sound base as a underdog value here. You're looking at a Texas team that's gone 19 and 9 at home this season. They've gone 17 and 5 in their last 22 at home. This is a team that's 32 and 22 overall on the year. That's an excellent 593 winning percentage. 24 and 14 versus right-handed starters, which they'll be facing tonight with Seattle's Nate Carnes on the mound. Also, 58 and 37 since 2015 versus teams with a winning record, which Seattle certainly has. And in addition, included in that 58 and 37 is a 26 and 14 record versus opponents that have a win percentage of 540 to 620. And right now, Seattle currently has a 574 win percentage. So a lot is in our corner in terms of home underdog value in this spot for the Texas Rangers. Martin Perez makes the start 
for the Rangers this evening. He's made six starts in Arlington this year and has posted impressive numbers of a 2.23 ERA and a 114 whip. He's made three career home starts versus Seattle and in those outings has a stellar 2.45 ERA. This is also a Texas team that has an excellent 4.82 slugging percentage over their last seven games. Now, Seattle has gone 23 and 14 versus right handed pitching, right handed starters, excuse me, this season. However, they're going to be facing a southpaw in Martin Perez tonight, and they're uh, a little bit less than average against southpaw starters this year, 8 and 9 in that role. Even more so, looking inside those numbers versus left handed starting pitching, just a 291 on base percentage which is well below their season average. Nate Carnes has been very good this year. I mean, I can't really uh, throw stones at his performance level or his numbers here in 2016. But, folks, he's not Clayton Kershaw, and he's certainly not Jake Arrieta. And having said that, I'm going to take the Texas Rangers plus 110 over Seattle. Let's repeat again. The Kansas City Royals plus 116 over Cleveland, you can find that at matchbook.com. Texas Rangers plus 110 over the Seattle Mariners for Saturday, June 4th. My name is Ross Benjamin. You can find all my daily betting articles simply by going to sbrpicks.com. i like to wish each and every one of you all the very best of luck with your picks today.